So the reason why this account review is a little special is because I've actually requested this player if I can review their account because they actually left a comment on my video telling me that they were level 47. As you can see, that is three higher than what I am right now. I am currently level 44. Okay, this one is special because they've actually started this game from the beginning. So I thought it was it, it's very interesting to see as a player who is making content for Kakira Kingdom to view somebody's account that has been playing pretty much since the beginning. Okay, they are not completely free to play. They do buy all the Kingdom Passes. Uh, and as you can see, 115 million coins. That's insane. <laughs> Just right off the bat, the first thing I see is 150 million coins. That's insane. I have what? 2 million? Less than 2 million? This is insane. Because I've been doing account reviews for a lot of newer players, it is a little hard to help out older players as well. Okay, so people who have either been uh, playing uh, since I've started playing, which is around when Latte and Almond were out, or people who have even started before then. Right, and you know, maybe they stopped playing and you got back into it. It's hard to help those kind of players, so I requested if I can actually review this account. And um, Adara actually allowed me to, so I really want to thank um, Adara for allowing me to log on and show them uh, this account to all of you guys. Okay, 47 that's a ridiculous high level. Okay, so let's just look at it first, let's admire this kingdom. Can you guys admire this kingdom and the high, uh, smiley face right here, guys? <laughs> and uh, there's the uh, hello. <laughs> this account, I just, I'm, I'm really excited to review because there's just so many things that I want to see how a one of the OG members of the Cooking and Kingdom community manage their account. So let's look at it first. Let's go into the storage real quick. As you can see, remember when you guys asked me, hey, um, Hyrule, is it worth? increasing your storage using crystals and as you can see they haven't even reached the point where it's 5,000 uh, they're not even at the point where they have to use other resources other than the wood as well as the sugar cube so yes you can but you don't need to okay you do not need to because they have actually made it so that a lot of these items or resources do not even take up storage spaces anymore right they used to but they don't anymore okay so that's the reason why you you can okay if you have a spare uh, crystals that you don't want to spend then you don't need to because if you look at it too the laboratory right here if you keep going right sooner or later you'll see right here bigger storage material stacks bigger uh, bigger storage good stacks um, you get more uh, of the storages right here okay stacks more storage space and etc there's just so many things right uh, that's why I'm saying if you want to you can but you don't need to right so let's just first first things first right let's look at the cookie house levels okay mansions are all level 10 which is good all right i am actually going to be increasing all of my mansion levels right away okay once i do reach cookie uh castle level 12 they are currently at 13 they currently don't have any gnomes uh which means that they're actually upgrading a lot of this stuff already okay so they're on top of their stuff they're on top of their stuff that's good Okay, um, but let's look at the uh, cookies too. As you can see, pure vanilla, hollow berry, sea fairy, they're all maxed out. And the cookies that uh, are used the most are maxed out, as you can see, right? Uh, not all of them are invested on. Uh, this is what is very important, guys. Even though they have been playing for a very, very long time, right? They don't have everything maxed out because they know exactly who to invest in, right? That is the key point when it comes to uh, playing either as a free to play or as a player who just doesn't spend too much money on this game to buy resources to buy extra uh you know re extra crystals whatever it is right you are gonna have a limited amount of exp star jellies and it's important right it's important for you to invest in cookies that you really 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 want to or uh you know plan to use that is the key point and as you can see, because they have been playing since the beginning, right? Milk Cookie is going to be leveled up. Dark Choco is going to be leveled up. Espresso is going to be leveled up. And Latte is going to be leveled up. 
uh, Licorice is going to be leveled up because they have been playing since the beginning, right? If you remember, uh, the meta used to be Espresso, Latte, Milk, um, Licorice, Dark Choco, Vampire, right? Those were the meta back then, right? That is the reason why all of these cookies are maxed out. The resource management here is a little bit different compared to other accounts as well. So I want to show you guys that, you know, it... it it's all going to depend on what you want to use and then of course how the meta is shifting okay as you can see cotton is maxed out rye is maxed out uh some of the cookies that they don't really need to use right they don't need to uh upgrade twizzly or uh squidding because they have latte and espresso already maxed out they pretty much have the same thing so that is the thing guys when you see a lot of these newer accounts for example um, a lot of people come up to me and ask me, hey, Hyrule, I have this team right now, but if I get like Black Raisin, for example, should I switch out one of my cookies for Black Raisin? That means you're asking me, should I level up my Black Raisin to the same level as my current team and then switch it out? That means you're spending EXP Star Jelly skill powders in order to do so, right? So it's always like that. Um, can I make this team that I have that is going to, you know, work out for a very long time before I need to switch out? Or am I just going to constantly switch out cookies and then, you know, you're going to run out of resources eventually. Okay, it, it's, it takes, yeah, it takes so much, right? It takes so much resources as well as it takes a lot of mileage points if you do want to promote them as well. Okay, so that's the reason why I always tell you guys, hey, make sure you have a cookie or you have a team in the beginning that you can actually use so that you don't have to switch out so many different cookies. The meta is constantly going to switch for arena, but for PvE, the story mode, the cookies that are good are going to stay good, right? You, you're going to still use pure vanilla, even though pure vanilla, pure vanilla may not be used in the arena as often as he used to be. Dark Choco is still going to be used in the PvE, Okay, although he's not being used in PvP, Latte is still going to be used in PvE, although she's not used in the PvP, right? It's just how you look at it, guys. So that's why I want to tell you guys when you guys are investing in your cookies, think long term. You know, think long term and then decide on who you should invest in. All right, let's just look at the toppings real quick. Okay, um, I actually put my camera on top right here uh, so that you guys can always see the uh, topping. Uh, because some people did say, hey, you, your, your face is covering up the damage resistance and stuff like that. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to move this camera here now so that you guys can see the toppings. All right, so as you can see, 5 solid almond. This is what I actually used to use, uh, 5 solid almond. The about 42% uh, 42.7% uh, damage resist on pure vanilla. 6.8% uh, cooldown with just 5 solid almond is amazing. I wish I had that. And then hollyberry, let's, let's look at hollyberry. Hollyberry is a little lacking on the damage resist i say you want to have at least about 45 percent uh, with the set bonus uh 41 is not bad but at a higher level right it's uh, better to have a lot of damage resist okay damage resist on sea fairy is a little lacking here as well 13 percent cooldown is a lot i say the better uh better option is decreasing the cooldown a little bit Okay, you probably could replace one of these for another like damage resist one because 15.7% is pretty low for about Master uh, 2, Master 3. Your Seafair is going to get popped. Uh, your Seafair is literally going to go like boom once the other uh, Seafair uses their skill. So I say it it's just depends on how you look at things, right? But uh, for everybody who's wondering how to get a better toppings, Right? Better topping is all luck. It just all depends and it is RNG, it's luck, right? So just keep that in mind, okay? Right, let me look at your guild boss battle uh, team. Let's look at this. Okay, so you do have Licorice. Um, you don't, you don't have uh, Licorice using his second skill, right? Second time. Um, so that's the thing. You want to have about 20%, I think, uh, without the set bonus in order for Licorice to be useful in the... Uh, Gil boss battle uh, Especially in the higher ranks. Yeah higher level dragons like 32 even at 20 something you need to have licorice with uh, Five swift chocolate in order for everybody to survive to use their skill one more time All Right, so that's what I would suggest uh, you do later on as well. Uh, let's just look at the world exploration real quick so 
wow okay so oh i can see why you were using poison mushroom with that okay um so yeah it look at look at the teams this this is a very og team you can see how even the older cookies have value in this game when it comes to story mode so that's why it's a little hard for you guys to say, hey, what is the best PvE team? What is the best story team? Because as you gain cookies and as the game continues, it's going to continue to change, right? It's, it's, it's just going to happen, all right? So that's why I'd say, guys, just uh, try to figure out what the best team is, right? And then stick to it for a while for story mode, right? So that's the best thing to do. Let's look at arena team uh, for this account. Okay, so this is one of the other semi-meta team, semi-meta team right now going on, uh, especially pe for people who are who are not able to pull Frost Queen. I've actually versed this team a lot in Master One as well. It is not up for everybody, but if you were not able to pull for C uh, Frost Queen, then this team is really good too because now you have uh, the Parfait co uh, Cotton combo, right? And then you have Hollowberry in the front, Pumpkin Pie uh, as a sem semi tank slash damage, and then DC Fairy of course doing the ma majority of the damage. But this is a this is a really good team, right? This is a good team as well that a lot of people are using. So let's just look at the toppings real quick. Cotton, same thing that I'm using, which is uh which is standard. Uh, five solid on for Parfait. That's what I used to use. Um, I would say the better option right now is going to be five Swift Chocolate. Um, just to you know, have Parfait skill up before the enemy Seafair as well as Frost Queen uses their skill. Okay, but it's it's still okay. And then you guys seen the other ones. Five Solid Almond for Pumpkin Pie is going to be the standard, right? Um, so yeah, I mean, this team is going to be very, very, um, you know, I, I would say it's a good team. It's a good team, especially if you don't have Frost Queen as of now. And I just want to say, guys, see right here, the treasures are a little lacking. A little lacking. All of the rares and commons are uh, maxed out, but their treasure um, level for the epic treasures are not as good as, you know, I would say they could be. Dora said that mileage point was used in uh, buying soul stones for cookies, All right? So I think um, there something something that I would tell you guys is it's gonna be better to invest in uh, treasures rather than promoting everything right away uh, yes promotion is gonna help you guys out to gain a bit of a stat boost but it's not gonna have a higher effect than you leveling up your treasures yeah so I think that's gonna be a that's gonna be one of the things that I really really want to tell all of you guys okay so when you have mileage points rather than you spending it on promoting okay promoting your cookies i would say use it to buy treasure tickets and do the treasure uh, gotcha yeah it's it's just gonna be a lot better for you guys i used to not do that too that's why i'm telling you guys from experience <laughs> yeah that's what i'm telling you guys from experience if you guys are trying to unlock a cookie then it's okay i would say you know if you're trying to unlock a certain cookie that you really really need or you really really want then go for it but if you already have the cookie and you're trying to use mileage points to upgrade or promote them, it's not good. Use it to buy treasure tickets and upgrade your treasures. Especially if you're like at uh, episode like 11, 10 and you have like level 7, 6 common treasures, then, then there is a problem there, okay? Uh, let's look at all the landmarks real quick too. So all of the major landmarks that needs to be built are built. Only the ones that uh, give you soul stones are not built, which is good. Which is good, I would say. It, it's uh, majority of the landmarks that give stats needs to be built, or all of them, right? And then you need to, uh, you, I would say long term wise, the ones that give you Aurora materials as well as the XP star jellies are going to be good. Uh, but the ones that give soul stones, I mean, if you have extra crystals, then go for it. But I don't. I say it's not worth, uh, in my opinion. Tropical Soda Island, everything is nice and clean. I like that. Look at this. Look how how much how many uh, villagers are liberated. Sixty four out of one hundred, and then you're getting so much crystals as well as exp uh, star jellies every single time. Yeah, it's so good. Like, the higher you guys get, the more uh, time you invest in the game, the rewards are going to be a lot more and a lot better. So I just want to say, hard work and dedication pays off in this game. 
You know, you don't have to be a massive whale to succeed in this game. You don't need to spend a ton of money in order for you to reach higher rank in this game. Uh, you definitely could do it with hard work and dedication. Of course, that is probably one of the hardest thing with the gacha game, right? Uh, everybody who spends money, like myself, you know, I was able to reach where I am uh, as fast as I was because I spent money, right? But can you reach that point without spending money? Yes, you can, is what I want to tell you guys. And you can see that Adara was able to do it, right, at a, to a certain degree uh, without spending too much of the money, right? Even though Kingdom Passes are bought, you know, those kind of small things are bought. You know, they're not a massive whale like myself. <laughs> so, and of course, the, the treasure tickets, bounties, mayhem, uh, everything is being done. You know, it's just, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't, there's nothing really much for me to say uh, for these kind of accounts, except for like the treasure and topping things. As you can see, even the older players have some trouble with so when you as a new player if you guys are struggling with uh a topping right topping build or if you're uh struggling with treasures then keep that in mind um you know even players who have been playing for a very very long time they still have trouble with that as well right don't don't get you know don't be sad don't give up because you think that oh i need to have the best treasures or best toppings right away you know it's it's not you don't need to be people still struggle with that even even if they get into the late game the common problems that we're gonna see in newer players are still going to be seen in the older players that's the main uh takeaway from this account review toppings are always going to be the hardest thing to kind of uh get around i would say in this game because the rng in this game for toppings is ridiculous right it's really really hard uh, to get the best toppings and it takes a lot of time and dedication and resources in order for you to get the best toppings so don't be disappointed if you cannot get the best toppings right away and then also uh, for your treasures make sure to have a decent amount of treasure tickets invested on using your mileage points when you have the chance in order to upgrade your treasures before you reach a certain level in the world exploration i would say that's very very important as well and then uh, lastly, I would say just keep in mind who you're investing in, okay, who you're investing in before you just throw everything at that cookie, right? Sooner or later, that cookie just may not be used at all. Someone like Milk Cookie, right? Make sure to invest in the cookies that you're going to be using for a very, very long time in order to get up to a certain level where you'll have abundant amount of EXP stars at least, right? So that's what I want to tell you guys uh, for yeah uh, from this account review i hope it kind of gave you guys a confidence boost for a lot of the newer players who are playing this game because like i said you're gonna have troubles but you're not gonna be the only one having these problems so yeah